Hi, I'm Jim Pike, and I would like to show you what the second grade class did yesterday, September 24th. Um, they did an experiment where they found the weight of these cubes. All of these cubes are made up of different materials and have different densities and different masses. And they all have a letter written on it, so this would be B, this is G, H. So they were all labeled with a letter. And what we did was we had this balance here. I would put, they would put one cube on this side, and they would use the base 10 blocks to find the measurement. So, oh, the I block weighs more than 100 cube, 100 uh, base 10 blocks, weighs more than 200. Does it weigh more than 300? No, 300 weighs more. So let's take that off and start adding 10s. These are what the 10s look like. So now we're at 210, 220, 230, 240. Oh, wait, what's it doing? Okay, so you see the balance is starting to move. And it's almost at equilibrium. So now we're going to add some ones. So this is the ones block. Put that on. And there you go. As you see, the needle's swinging a about equidistant on both sides. So once it settles, it will settle at the equilibrium. So now I know that the I block weighs two 100 blocks, so 200. Four ten sticks, 240, and one one block, 241. Now let's try the E block. So the student would put the block on the scale there. It would start off by weighing it to 100. Oh wow, it's 100 blocks, it's way heavier. So now let's go to the ten sticks. Oh wow, two ten sticks is way heavier. So now let's go to the ones. Oh, we're almost at equilibrium. Let's add one more. So yeah, that's close enough. If they put 13 or 14, that's that's close enough for E. Let's try it on 13. 14's a little bit better of an answer, but as long as they kind of see that, that's about the same and it's balanced, they were all right. Um, so then the class was able to measure the weight of all the blocks. We, we shared our data and we recorded them by writing them down on the back of the second page. For homework, you gotta take the numbers that they wrote down and put them in order from least to greatest. If the numbers aren't exactly perfect, you can see there's kind of like a little estimation as it's going up and down, up and down. That's fine. Just put down the numbers that they used. Um, I'll also be posting the weights that I calculated on GradeLink on a second sheet, so you can kind of have an answer sheet to go on if, you're, if, the child, if your student didn't fill out the back of the page perfectly. They're learning. They'll get it. All right, guys, let's have fun in science and enjoy, my, enjoy yourself. Remember, all you guys got to do is put the masses in order from least to greatest. So as we saw, the I block weighed more than the E block. So you would write block I above block E in relationship to the order of all the other measurements. All right, thank you very much. I hope this helps.